Hi guys, so the Warhammer 40k chess set I'm currently building is coming along really nicely. And as you can see, the Orc sort of team is, well, it's not far off completing. Just the, uh, the bishops and the castles to go. So hopefully I'll be getting those soon. So I thought I'd have a go at starting on the old Space Marines. And I've got this lovely big box set, the, uh, the Combat Patrol Space Marines. And this box was sent to me by those lovely people over at Chaos Cards. There is a link in the description, guys, to their website, so go check them out. As they've also given me a discount code. So if you type in CHECKMATE, you get 5% off any sort of £30 purchase or spend. And yeah, as you can see, a whole variety of stuff they do over there. Obviously, it's more the Warhammer stuff that I'm kind of interested in. But they do do a whole variety of games and, well, cards. So I really love these Combat Patrol boxes. As, as you can see, there's, well, a ton of people in this one. And also a tank, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go building that sometime and well, possibly making some sort of diorama with that, I would have thought. But obviously, it's the people down the bottom that I'm really after. And so I'm going to make the, um, the pawn equivalent for my chess set out of these. As well as a few other figures here I'll be able to use for the chess set. So yeah, keep an eye out for those coming up soon. So I'd like to have everything ready before I start. So I've obviously got the instructions here. I've got the sprues and some glue. Good old snips to obviously cut the bits off the sprues. And then finally a nice blade to sort of clean anything up afterwards. So yeah, let's crack on and assemble eight um, space marines that are going to be my pawns. There's only a few parts to each space marine. You kind of got like the front and the back or a left and a right. Uh, a couple of obviously arms and then a head. And then their little uh, well battery pack thingy that goes on their back. So yeah, nice and simple, easy to cut out. And then once we've done that, usual sort of thing, give them a bit of a clean up. Uh, these ones weren't too bad. There's no real sort of uh, issues with the sprues because I try and cut them as close as I can. Um, yeah, just a few little mould lines or join lines, whatever it's called. And yeah, scrape them away. That doesn't take long at all. And then before I glue it together, I like to sort of drill out the barrels as well. I know some people take offence when you don't drill out the barrels. So yeah, drill out those barrels. And then we can glue all the bits together and obviously get it ready for the uh, for the painting. So yeah, going to do usual uh, usual painting scheme here, guys. Good old slap chop, as that seems to be uh, well working wonders for me. I know it's not for everyone. We've all got our own little style of painting, uh, and this certainly is uh, well, it's my happy standard. Obviously, we're all going to have our own sort of happy standard that we're uh, well happy with. So yeah, all the figures, all on their bases. They've already primed in black, dry brushed grey and white, and ready to paint. Usual thing whenever I'm doing a sort of like batch painting. I like to paint one first fully, just to make sure I'm happy with the whole scheme and how it looks. And then obviously then I can just crack on, do the rest, and get them done in no time at all. So as you saw, I'm using the uh, the Army Painter Speed Paint, and it's the Magic Blue. And yeah, I think it certainly lives up to its name. It certainly is magic. Um, yeah, love how it goes on, love how it dries. And obviously the end result is, uh, yeah, certainly something I'm very, uh, very happy with. So these are fairly simple to paint as there's not really a lot of colours on them. Obviously the main one is the blue. There's a few bits that are going to be black. And again, I'm using the, the Army Painter uh, Speed Paint Black for those. Um, and then, yeah, there's a couple of little bits that are silver and gold. So yeah, as, I, as painting goes, these are definitely the easiest to paint. Although I'll have to admit, I do kind of prefer the Orcs as they do obviously have a lot more sort of colour um, and a bit more fun about them. As much as I love Space Marines because they are just big and chunky. Uh, yeah, when it comes to the painting, obviously they are fairly basic. Again, I know I probably could go over this and do some edge highlighting and vary up a few of the colours. Uh, but yeah, for me, I'm happy with how these came out. And maybe one day I might go back over and sort of tart these up a little bit. But for now, they are golden. Or should that be blue? So yeah, as well as obviously I'm doing this chess set and I'm doing the, um, the Space Marines against the Orcs. Uh, but I am thinking about possibly once I've got all these done making some other teams up as obviously the chess set that I've made there is room inside to well place the figures so I could put some figures inside the box and have some different figures outside that we were sort of playing with so yeah guys let me know in the comments what other sort of teams or factions do you think I should uh, should do a full sort of chess set with obviously it will be quite a while before I get around to doing it as this is quite a uh, it's quite a big sort of project for me as well as being quite obviously expensive as there is a lot of figures, well, there's 32 figures in, in total. Uh, no, scratch that, 36 figures. So yeah, lots of figures involved. 
So this is quite an, an expensive project as well. But say, fortunately, those lovely people over at Chaos Cards have sent me these uh, these Space Marines for me to use, which is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, guys, don't forget, link in the description. Go check them out and use the, the uh, discount code CHECKMATE and that'll give you 5% off any sort of purchases over £30, which is uh, pretty cool. So I know Army Painter are working on about 90 different speed paints at the moment, which is pretty cool, so I can't wait to sort of get my hands on well, all of those when they come out. Um, I'm not too sure whether or not they're doing any sort of metallic speed paints, um, or if it is even possible to make a, a metallic speed paint. Um, but yeah, I certainly hope so, because uh, obviously at the moment I'm just using your normal sort of metallics, the, uh, the gold, copper and silver, and then generally I kind of do a wash over them, just to make them look a little bit more sort of grimy, grimdark, uh, sort of look to how well kind of how I like the look of them but um, yeah guys if any of you know if it is possible to make uh, metallic speed paint by all means let me know I have got some of the speed paint medium and I have had to go at mixing this in with the silver uh, but all it kind of did was really sort of watered it down it didn't make it flow um, as nice as obviously the normal speed paints do I don't know if that is because it is a metallic looking paint or just because I messed up and didn't put the correct quantities in but guys, if you've had a go at using the sort of speed paint medium and mixing it in with any of the metallic looking colours, uh, but yeah, by all means, let me know in the comments how it got on. And more importantly, what sort of quantity did you put or what ratio did you put of uh, one to the other? So, because I had a go and yeah, I messed up badly. So the other thing I do like about the Space Marines and that is their eyes. They are lovely and easy to do. Pretty much just like orcs. Uh, yeah, a little dab of red paint and you're done which is great, because one thing I definitely can't do, and that is eyes. I always make them look rather wonky, or one eye is obviously just generally bigger and blacker or bolder than the other. So yeah, good old little red dots. Um, yeah, love it. And they kind of look like the old um, is it Cylons. I used to love that. Um, yeah, obviously you just need that sort of like vibrating backwards and forwards, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, a little bit of silver on these, not too much. I say these, the colour scheme is nice and easy. Um, and I managed to paint all of these dudes, well, in a morning. So, um, yeah, about sort of two, three hours, I guess, to do all of these, which, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, I was quite pleased with that, and I say very happy with the, uh, with the end result. So I'm guessing this guy with the old sort of a smoke grenade, or maybe in this case I've made it into like more of a stink grenade, as it looks like it's, um, well, a green gas that's ex coming out of these. And actually the, the colour I'm using here is the colour that I do the Orcs with. So, uh, yeah, sorry Orcs, you kind of have a green, sort of smelly, obnoxious sort of gas coming out of you. And yeah, that's them almost pretty much done now, which is uh, so pretty cool, so they didn't take too long at all. And now we can go on to the bases. So I'm using these clear bases that I get from Fluid 3D Workshop. Again, link in the description, guys. Go check them out for any kind of bases you like. Obviously, the ones I always use are the nice clear ones. So I've drilled a hole in the centre, as obviously the board that I've got is magnetic and I want all my pieces to be sort of, well, magnetic or magnetised, whatever the correct term is, just so these guys will stay on the board, just in case anyone decides to uh, knock the board when they get a bit upset, yet yeah, none of the pieces will move off, or you can even turn the board upside down. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but uh, yeah, again, none of the pieces will turn off, or fall off even. So yeah, I've made this little uh, little applicator for the um, the magnets, as if you'd seen one of my previous videos of me trying to sort of, well, manhandle the magnets, because they are so small and diddy, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty difficult. So a nice little tool to sort of sort that out. Before putting them on the bases, I just want to seal that paint. So I'm using the Army Painter Super Matte Varnish and giving them a good old spray. And that will protect the paint so it doesn't rub off. If you saw in one of my recent videos, I use these decals for the first time ever. And I've had a few issues with them, well, trying to wrap them around the shoulder pads. So a lot of you lovely people left comments and mentioned microsole as being something that obviously softens up the decals. And yeah, basically you can sort of then manipulate them and flatten them around curved surfaces, which, uh, which is pretty cool because obviously they've all got um, shoulder pads. And yeah, they are definitely, uh, well, definitely rounded. So I watched a couple of videos on how to obviously use microsole because I've never used it before. And they kind of basically said, put the, um, the transfers on as normal. So a little bit of dollop of water there, using a little one of these cotton buds just to sort of get the excess water off. Um, and then pretty much let these dry, which I did. So they've all sort of dried out. And then using a clean brush, I can apply some of the microsol 
and basically just sort of brush it over. And in case of, um, yeah, gently doing this, and this obviously softens the decal, and then it can obviously be manipulated and, well, moved around a round edge, which is pretty cool. So it does say sometimes you might have to do a couple of applications, and I think I did sort of two, possibly three on the arrow, and each time I let it dry in between, and then it was just a case of going over again, and yeah, it sort of started to flatten out rather nicely, which is pretty cool. So this was only my second time of using the decals, and obviously the first time using this Microsoft. And I must admit, yeah, really pleased with how it's come out. And yeah, I actually enjoyed doing the decals. I've, uh, I've never done any before on any of the miniatures I've ever done. Um, mainly because I've never really liked the idea of doing it. Uh, it's kind of obviously put me off. Um, but yeah, having done it now a couple of times, yeah, really enjoyed doing it. And obviously like the results. And then gave that a nice clear sort of varnish afterwards, just to help sort of seal it all in and tie it in with everything else. And then, yeah, it's now time to sort of pop these suckers off. And generally they come off sort of first time, nice and clean. Uh, sometimes they do fly across my desk, but um, yeah, generally no problems at all. And the underneath is, yeah, not too bad at all. There's obviously a bit of paint there from the previous sort of paint I did. But on the whole, yeah, they come off nice and clean and ready to sort of glue down on the, um, the clear bases. So I've got these all on the chest set, just to make sure when I do glue these uh, these little chaps down, I don't accidentally glue them on the the wrong side of the base, because obviously rather than attracting, it'll just sort of repel it. Um, yeah, a little dab of glue. I always sort of like take a little bit off with my finger, rub my finger obviously on a clean towel, um, just so there's not too much glue on there. Because when I do put these down, the last thing I want is glue to sort of spill out the side, uh, because you will see it quite clearly on the uh, well on the clear bases. So yeah, a little dab of glue will do ya, and yeah, Bob's your auntie, Fanny's your uncle, job done. And I'm absolutely loving how this chess set is coming along, and yeah, can't wait to see it when uh, when I've got everything done, and I'll be able to sort of, well, start playing the game. Let me know in the comments guys if you enjoyed the video, and what you might want to see me sort of make, scratch build, kit bash, or even just paint next, as I like to sort of see what you guys want me to do. And yeah, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.